The spacecraft carries seven payloads to observe the photosphere, which is the deepest layer of the sun. We can directly observe the chromosphere, the layer about 400 kilometers and 2,100 kilometers above the photosphere and outermost layers of the sun, the corona, using electromagnetic particle and magnetic field detectors. Pramod Madhav tells us more about all of this. The moon is quite charged as ISRO is all prepared for the launch of Aditya L1 in a PSLV rocket that you see behind us. That's a rocket which is going to carry the Aditya L1 satellite and this time it's extremely challenging. Remember for ISRO which has landed on the moon this is another challenge. Of course they will come over it but still it's something very important because this is a space observatory satellite and it's going to go for a distance of 1.5 million kilometers. The distance between Sun and Earth is 150.17 million kilometers. So the, this particular satellite for, will after four months will reach a point which is almost one percent distance between the moon the uh, sun and the earth and the important aspect here is that this satellite is going to go around is going to orbit an imaginary point based on an equation called as lagrange equation l1 point so this is a kind of point where the sun's gravity and the earth's gravitational force will have a kind of a pull where which if we place this particular satellite that is like around this particular point it will have the ability to go in a halo orbit which means it will have 24 7 uh, observation of the sun by which it will learn study collect data on how and what is happening on the sun surface the corona the chromosphere it's carrying several uh, instruments already the main aspect here is to study about the solar flare the solar wind that's a kind of a sudden emission of energy and how it actually can uh, re react to the uh, uh, weather system in planets including earth zibian pramod madhav for india today